house it and aloha. This is Kanaka Cab. You are on Akaku. You'll find me on Kanaka Cab YouTube. students over here so when uh, you guys still eating you guys still eating yeah we'll go wait little maybe a little bit before we bring you up but just get ready <laughs> so. so how many people from uh, up country came today tonight okay one two three four Oh, you guys had the whole bus to yourself. <laughs> Five. Okay, well, welcome to Lahaina, the hot part of town. And today was scorching. And how many people from uh, Kihei? Oh. Okay, there's about four of you. Well, welcome to the other side of the, the South Shore. <laughs> so. And from the Central Maui area. All right, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming all the way to Lahaina to listen to us. You know, yesterday we played it at Wailuku, in Wailuku under the, uh, at Kahumano Church for the picnic for Poki um, thing. So if, and next month, if you really like us tonight, you can see us at um, Kamaaina Nights in next month. Um, and that is the third Friday at Kahumano Shopping Center. So, so come by and and listen to our music. We're going to do a song that, uh, that uh, I talked about a little earlier, about Kahalawai, and how, you know, I moved to this community in 1975, and since then, it's been our home. 
and I love it. This is the only place to live in Maui. Well, of course, all of you have your favorite places, but as far as Lahaina people go, it's a really close-knit community. And when I first moved here, I, I was lucky enough to meet some of the real Kama'aina families of this, of this beautiful place. And they made me feel so at home that I never wanted to move it anywhere else. So uh, just recently, I wrote this, this tune to, uh, to talk about all that this, this uh, place of Lahaina. And I used the mountains of Kahalawai as a backdrop for this song called Kila Kilo Kahalawai. And if you ever are out on the ocean in the evening and you look up towards the mountains up here, you'll notice that there's a beautiful mist in, in the valleys and they kind of cling to the, the sides of the pali, of especially Kaua'ula and Launiopoko. And that's what this song is kind of about, about us who live here in Lahaina clinging to this place and really falling in love with it and uh, never wanted to move every, anywhere else in your lifetime or in our lifetime. So here's a tune called Tila Kiro Kahalabai.
viele, viele auf der Halle rein. You know, the, uh, I want to introduce you guys to, uh, to uh, someone that I have high respect for. His name is Kelvin Kuomo, right over here. He, he films for Akaku, which is a, a public television station. But he does it all for free. It's all volunteer work. So you might see him at a lot of um, sports events in Maui if you go and see your grandchildren play. And you know what? He puts it all up on the web at no cost to any of the schools. So, so mahalo Kelvin. And uh, we're neighbors up in Kakulo Valley. Um, and he's a, he's a veteran of the, the military. He served in our military. And uh, along with, along with, uh, with Lance, they both served in Vietnam, so mahalo you guys for your service. We appreciate that. Okay, we're gonna do another Lahaina song. And this one was written by uh, Uncle Ned Lindsay. And he wrote this about a, a sailing canoe that was actually housed in their front yard for a number of years. And uh, when I moved here in 1975, I had the pleasure of meeting um, the Lindsay Ohana. And because they had this canoe in their front yard, oh, I got so interested in that. And they, they were wel very welcoming. And for a number of years, I was able to sail with them on the Mo'olele, which is such a exciting thing to do. So if you ever have the opportunity, to go out and sail on the Mo'olele one day, or our new canoe, Mo'okiha, that is housed at Ma'alaya Harbor right now. Feel you should take that opportunity. It's a song written by Uncle Ned Lindsay called Mo'olele, and how Anu will hula for us.
Alice, uh, along with John, she's the only one that's not retired yet. She still <laughs> runs at uh, Kamehameha Schools, Maui campus. So takes the drive all the way to La from Lahaina all the way up there to Pukalani. Nine months during the year. Isn't it time to retire? <laughs> come on, you guys, come to the light. <laughs> We're gonna bring up Kathy. We're gonna do this song called Kapua Ui. And Kapua Ui means beautiful are the flowers. And in this uh, song, the flowers represent children. And for grandparents, this song talks about how grandchildren are like a pearl lay around our necks to be cherished. And when parents, when they see their ch children, brings happiness to them. So it's Kapua Ui. <laughs> great services so we want to thank Stacy um, for setting this all up for us mahalo Stacy wherever you are I know you're around somewhere and uh, here in Lahaina there's some really good classes um, if you like ukulele I have a intermediate ukulele class that will start up in October and go through December and we we'll only learn Christmas songs during that time so you'll be all set for Christmas Eve and Christmas night or the month of December to sing Christmas songs to your family or your ohana. And also, that beautiful lady over there under the tree with the blonde hair. <laughs> That's Ellen. <laughs> That's Ellen. She teaches yoga here every Thursday at 10.30. So the classes are $2 if you're ever in this area and uh, want a yoga class and Stacy teaches the hula classes yeah so so we're gonna do this song for Ellen because she always requests it and uh, she's her and Brenda they are mo our most loyal supporters mahalo for coming and Brenda for making it here today and Ellen for coming This song is about eating, so which is what you guys are doing. So, but this one talks more about the, the local fish that we all love to eat. So last night we had a cookout for our our, our keiki at the Napili Canoe Club, and Kalani Tihara, he made the best dish available: fried fish, fresh. It was so good. 
that was the best thing. So anyway, we're gonna sing this song for for uh, Ellen and actually all of you who like fried local fish. Yes, no? We're gonna bring up uh, we're gonna bring up Stacy's students to do um Ahula, Papadina Lahi Lahi. I know you guys know that because you know one day I went inside there with my ukulele and I had to play that for you folks. <laughs> so how many of us how many of you are out there? Let's see. Where are they? Just come on up, no feel shame. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, they're getting up the courage. Almost, almost. Oh, where's Stacy? Oh, there's Stacy. Where's your students? They can practice now. That's alright if you folks are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, here it comes one. Yes. Oh, no, you're sitting. Huh? Oh, okay. Come on. Yeah, mercy, come. Oh, oh. oh, holy. Okay. 
This one's called Ole. And which version you guys use? Kori, Kori Patas? <laughs> Only one version. Oh, what's. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna bring them back, so don't get too comfortable. <laughs> but not right now. We're gonna do another, another song from our new CD. So we're selling um, the, the, our new CDs for uh, ten dollars. If you want to pay a little more, you can just go to the Lahaina Courthouse. I think they sell them for twenty over there. So, <laughs> but. Tonight we're selling them for ten dollars. Hope you can take one home with you, or take one home to give to one of your friends or your relatives. And what? Also, I want to mahalo uh, Dick and Judy for coming out because it's such a yeah. It's been a yeah. Thank you very much. They always come and see us at Second Fridays. But and tonight they're with us, so we would like to uh, welcome you guys and thank you for coming out. You guys qualify for senior discount. You guys don't need to pay for percent tax on the CDs. <laughs> so we're gonna do this song for you, and this one's on the CD, and it's a, a song that talks about growing such so accustomed to people and enjoying their company. So this song's called Mohovawa Kupa.
This instrument I'm playing for you this evening is called Kika Kila, a Hawaiian word for steel guitar. Kika is a Hawaiian word for guitar. Kila is a Hawaiian word for steel, for this steel bar that I'm holding here. This style of playing was invented here in Hawaii in the 1880s by a young Hawaiian boy named Joseph Kikuku. And he took a regular slack key guitar, he laid it on his lap, and he learned how to play with this steel bar. It became so popular in the islands that he went to the mainland and made it popular all over the mainland. So today you see a lot of people playing kikakila, but they're not playing Hawaiian music, they're playing country music and blues, but it all comes from Hawaii and from Joseph Kikuku. Some of the most, some of the greatest steel guitar players are actually slack key guitar players because as I told you, kikakila comes from Kihuahua. In fact, Gabby Pahinui, the favorite, uh, famous slack key guitar player, was actually a steel guitar player. He played steel guitar with Andy Cummings for about 20 years before he started making records and playing slack key. And if you listen to his records, you will hear Kikakila on his records, and he is playing with himself. He's playing uh, slack key and steel guitar. So I'd like to do for you right now a song made famous by Gabby Pahinui. Uh, this song is called, it's credited to Charles Namahoy, it's called Le Nani. Very famous song, popular with musicians and hula dancers. The song says, where are you my beautiful Le? Come let's be together, I wish to be with you and never be apart from you. A song called Le Nani. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Mr. Jerry Valdez. And nobody plays the steel like Jerry in Hawaii. Actually, in the world, probably. Yeah. <laughs> he got it on real exclusive style. So. And he has a, he just put out a new CD, but he never bring any. So if you like buy his CD, you gotta come see us. Second Friday. Yeah, second <laughs> Friday. He only drive Lahaina one time a month. <laughs> and this is his one time. <laughs> well, I missed last week Friday. I, I played at the Waikiki Steel Guitar Festival. So I missed second Friday. Yeah. So I told Albert, this could be my once a month. So that's why I came tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but get the bypass now, so it looks better, yeah? It's better. Traffic is better. Not take, not take our half forget from Waiya. From Waiya, who I live to here, take me our half before. So yeah. So maybe he will come one and a half times. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but anyway, if you are, if you live on the other side, you you can catch him in Wailuku at the Coffee Attic every Thursday at 11 a.m. They, they're there for about, what, hour and a half? Hour and a half at the uh, old Hokamas, you know, Hokamas Radio, right across from Bali. They have a um, coffee shop over there. They have all kinds of music. So um, we have two steel guitar players that we play every every uh, Thursday. And usually people come and they sing and dance with us. So it's good fun. Come by. Yeah, and if you, if you play an instrument, there's all kinds of instruments on the wall. You can just grab one. <laughs> My sweet, beautiful flower.
That's a beautiful song. teachers out there. Oh, this one. And a couple of Judy. Yeah. And back there there's more. And I know Brenda is a former teacher. Yes, Brenda. Yes. So anyway, I was I had the honor of uh, teaching at Lahaina Luna for 31 years and was uh, some of the best years of my life. And Hopefully there's uh, another 31 coming on. <laughs> so, so, anyway, if you don't know, if maybe if you're a re recent resident to um, to Maui, um, Lahaina Luna is the oldest high school west of the Rocky Mountains and founded in 1831. If you ever have gone up to Mount Pa'u Pa'u, David Malo's grave is at the top. And the best time to go is when the boarders go up there twice a year and relime the L as they have a, a ceremony for David Malo. And also uh, Chad Babayan's dad is also buried up there. So. And Chad is the, uh, one of the navigators for the Voyaging Canoe Hokulea. So. And his dad is up there with, with David Malo. So we're going to do this tune and it is uh, 
It is on the CD. This in this uh, this song, uh, Kahala Greg, whose dad started uh, the David Malo Day up at Lahaina Luna, sings the song. So I'm gonna do this, and Kahala's. Uh, I asked Kahala, "What are you doing Friday? Working?" <laughs> He's a retired police officer. He's so young, and he retired. I think he retired before he was 50, and uh, to, now he's a full-time musician and a retired police officer. So he had two incomes. But he sings this song on the CD, and it does a great job. when all of us were not born yet <laughs> except Ellen <laughs> when were you born Ellen? Me? yeah 1926 oh wow. 
you're one year old then when the Royal Hawaiian Hotel was built. <laughs> so. I'm going to slow things down right now and do a song for you written by the great Hawaiian musician songwriter John K. Almeida. In 1923, he wrote this song for his church. The name of the song is called Yesu Miki Kanakawaiwai. And so he brought the song to his church and they told him it sounds too much like a hula. So they said they didn't want to you know, sing it in church. So he put it on the side and he recorded it and uh, Jano Kealvi recorded it. But in 1975, the Sons of Hawaii came out with their red album with the five faces and they recorded Kanaka Vai Vai and the song became famous like it should be. So I do for you Kanaka Vai Vai song is about Jesus meeting a rich man and the rich man asked Jesus how he can attain the kingdom of heaven.
know that at one time, uh, the male hula dancers was the only real hula dancers in Hawaii, right? And uh, actually, women were coupled from dancing. But all us men, we're so happy that they changed that way. <laughs> so all that couple, all that. So we're going to have Lance and his beautiful wife, Kathy. They're going to come up and do a, a, a hula about, the, about a, a ship called the Malulani that sank off the coast of Kauai. And, uh, and anyway, let's just do it. <laughs> to do a hula. It's called Kamakani Kaili Aloha, which is a lo about the love snatching wind. Okay. 
Okay, this is Hoku and she is from Uluvehi Guerreros, formerly of Uluvehi Guerreros. Hello, and she's gonna do a beautiful tune called Kamakani Kaili Aloha. <laughs> Technology today would be not not doing so well. <laughs> okay, we want to do three different versions. Stacy, you like come and do this hula. Kapilina, you know it. And we're going to have Hawanu do also with Hoku. So we're going to have three different versions, all different Kumu. Taught, and some motions might be the same. We'll see. Sure. And 
if you don't know, Stacy is the person whose fault it is why we get this tonight. So mahalo, Stacy. And, and if you really like meet Wanchita, eh, just go talk to her. <laughs> and she, I just saw you in the halls of uh, Moloka'i High School. What was that all about? Class reunion. What was that? Class reunion. The class reunion. Oh. The tenth one. <laughs> okay, here we go. A song written by Frank Kawai Kapu Okalani Hewitt. about 15 more minutes and we're going to call it an evening but just some reminders we do have some CDs on sale especially our brand new one and it's uh, actually it's our best work yet and we got some great singers on it we got Lance singing a couple tunes uh, one of his originals I think we did it. 
And we also have uh, some great women, uh, female singers. If you've heard of Kelly Covington, she's probably the best jazz female singer here in Maui. She sings a song called Hula Heaven. And Patty Lono Kuwaye, she's from Molokai. And works with me at, or actually used to work with me at uh, the Old Lahaina Duwal. She sings the Queen song, Pao'oa Kalani. And we also have Kahala Greg singing Raw Hawaiian Hotel. We're going to do one of Lance's songs right now, and this one's called Koaloha Makamai. So you can tell them. <laughs> Yeah, so this song is, uh, Al asked if we could record this song on his CD, so I said, oh, hey, it's one gospel, one gospel song, you know, he said, that's okay, because we did one on the last CD also, because, you know, Hawaiians, they love Jesus too, yeah, so this song is called, Ko Aloha Makamai, your love is so special.
by the way, uh, my good friend Paki Kabatingan is the, it was my advisor on the Hawaiian lyric, you know, he um, translated for me, so I have big mahalo to him.